in the previous session we had our simple union and simple find and we found some problems with that simple union and simple find so in case of simple union when we went to do union 1 2 and then union 2 3 then union 3 4 in this way up to union n minus 1 comma n for n number of disjoint sets trees in that case we found that the resultant tree they it had become degenerated tree so for each and every level i had a single node so when i went for find algorithm find one find two find three find four then the total complexity was become of the order of n square we discussed each and everything all this aspect we discussed in the previous video please watch that one because this current video is in the continuation of that one. So, here we are going to resolve the problem with simple union and simple find. Now, what we shall do? We shall in case of simple union, we, that union will be replaced by this weighted union, a new algorithm. Now, in case of weighted union, we are making something that is count of i and count of j with a minus sign having the prior. What is this count? In our previous implementation, against the root nodes in the array representation, we were writing minus 1, indicating that it is a root node. But here, we will be used, utilizing the same place, the same location with the same sign that is minus, but there I shall be writing not minus 1, but the number of nodes in that particular set, number of elements in that particular set. Let us suppose that is a particular tree like this. It is containing 1 as a root node, 2, 3 and 4 are the other elements in that particular set. Then in this particular array, in this particular array, say I am having location number say it is i and it is p, location number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 2 is having the root 1, 3 is having the root 1, 4 is having the root 1, but 1 will having the minus 1, we had this one, but from now. I shall replace this minus 1 by minus 4. Why minus 4? Because minus 4 number of elements are there, sorry, 4 number of elements are there in this particular set. So, that is why there I will be writing minus 4 and that is our minus count. Okay? So, keep this one in mind and we will be implementing the same accordingly. Okay, now, see, we are going for algorithm weighted union Ij union sets with the roots i and j. So, i and j are the root nodes for those two sets and i is not equal to j. Obviously, they are the disjoint sets. Using the weighting rule, p i is equal to minus of count of i, that is the count i and p j is equal to minus of count j. In this way, the p i and p j locations are getting initialized. Now, temp is equal to p i plus p j. So, those two countings will get added. Obviously, the number will remain as a negative number. If p i is greater than p j, then now see p i is greater than p j, we know that minus 4 is greater than minus 8. So, here in this case what is happening, if minus 4 is greater than minus 8, that means the first set is having only 4 elements and the second set is having 8 elements. So, i has fewer nodes, in that case they are trying to do p i is equal to j and p j is equal to temp. Else, j has fewer or equal number of nodes. In that case, p j is equal to i and p i is equal to temp. So, temp we did the calculation earlier. So, whatever the algorithm they have written, so let us go for the tracing and tracing will make our conception clear. Let us suppose initially we are having n disjoint sets consisting of single element. So, first set is containing 1, second set is containing 2, dot dot dot, the third last set, nth set is containing n. So, what will happen? For this particular representation in the array, all the locations will be having count that is 1. So, they will get filled up with minus 1 because each one of these nodes are the root nodes. Okay. Now, say, say here we are passing i and j. Here we are passing i and j. So, I am making a tracing table. I am making a tracing table. So, at first the operation is union 1, 2. So, 1 is going to i and 2 is going to j. Okay. Now, see, 
pi means it is minus 1 pj means is minus 1 so minus 1 is greater than minus 1 it's not true so it will come to the else part so pj is equal to i what is pj that means the second location will be i that is 1 so second location will be 1 so i'm just crossing this one putting 1 here and i'm uh, pj is okay i'm going for this so pi is equal to 10 so the ith place that is the first place that temp will be there, there what is the value of temp there minus 1 plus minus 2 uh, sorry minus 1 plus minus 1 that is minus 2 so that will be coming to the ith place so i is 1 so here i'll be having this minus 2 here i'll be having this minus 2 let me write it properly so that is my minus 2 then what will happen you see you see node uh, that is a node number 1 we're having this you see node number 2 is having the parent 1 and node number 1 is having the count minus 2 now if you go for this union 1 3 if you go for the union 1 3 so okay i'm making this one 1 and making this one 3 see so temp will become temp for this will become what is what is the uh, pi that is a p of 1 that is minus 2 plus minus 1 so it will be become minus 3 okay now see pi is greater than pj what is the pi that is a minus 2 and what is the pj what is the pj pj should be minus 1 because the third location minus 1 so minus 2 is greater than minus 1 is false minus 2 is not greater than minus 1 so that's why it will come come down to this else part so pj is equal to i so what is j there that is a 3 so j will be equal to i so at this particular location i shall be having 1 and pi is equal to m so first place the minus 3 will be there so it will become minus 3 then what will happen see what will happen in that case the tree will have that shape like this so it is having three elements so at the root it is having minus 3 and in this way it is getting so if you go for this union 1 4 it will be coming like this if you go for dot dot if you go for union 1 n it will come like this then what will happen you are getting a tree with height 2 so degenerate tree cannot be formed so that is the main issue so what is happening you see if the first node is having the more number of nodes then the second node whatever the you are passing the root node will be the child will be the child of that so that's why when it is heavy and you are making this one as 4 when you are making this one 4 so 4 is becoming as the child of this one so 1 is becoming the parent of this 4 so in this way the set with a higher number of nodes with a larger number of nodes will remain as the root and the other tree will be coming as the subtree so in this way it is happening okay so we have discussed replacing simple find by this sorry replacing a simple union by this weighted union now while doing this union operation there is no scope to have the degenerate tree always we are trying to express our tree with the minimum number of heights so the complexity of that is big o of n square cannot happen so you are getting a betterment in our algorithm so in the next video please watch that one then we will be going for this collapsing find that is a fantastic algorithm so collapsing find you love this uh, love to learn this particular algorithm and there we shall reduce the searching complexity also please watch the next video that video is the continuation of this one Thanks for watching this one.